Hello guys, welcome back. In this Jetpack Compose tutorial, we are going to learn about bottom bar and how to handle navigation between different bottom tabs, saving states between composables. And so without further ado, let's get started. So now before we start, we have to go to this build.create module app and we are going to pass in this dependency so that we can use it inside here, the navigation dependency. Now let's sync here. So now let's navigate here to this package and create here a new file and we are going to call this navigation so inside this file we're going to declare all of our navigations so in order to create a navigation we have to create the bottom screen tabs and in order to do that we are going to use a sealed class for this purpose now let's create here a sealed class and we are going to call this screens Now, as you can see here, we are going to get the drawables from this, which I have prepared in advance. So if you come here to this race and come here to drawable, you can see I have added this. And if you want, just you can come here to this resource manager and place this button here and recreate these vector assets. So we are going to use this inside our applications. So right now here, we have to create our list of tabs so we have to create here an object that is going to hold up the screen and this one we're going to call it home and this home is going to inherit from these screens So now you can create here separate classes. So whenever you want the number of these screens. So for here, we want to have the notification. So now after creating here the list of these classes, so we are going to use it inside our bottom navigation. So let's just create here our bottom navigation screen. So this bottom navigation screen here requires us to pass in here two parameters. So we are going to pass in here the nav controller. So now we want to access the backstack entry. So we are going to call here the navigation backstack entry and we are going to use this backstack entry in order to get the current destination. So we're going to use here delicate method and then we're going to use this nav controller which has been passed from the main activity. And what we want to access here, we want to get the current backstack entry as a state so that we can get the state. Whenever this is going to be changed, we can get the uppermost entry inside the backstack so if you see here you can see that this will trigger recomposition and return the top entry on the backstack so we are going to get the top entry and in order to do that we have to get here the current destination so we can call this current destination and now we are going to use this nav backstack entry in order to we have to use the safe call here and get the destination so we are going to use this inside our application the bottom navigation composable you can see here we have this bottom navigation composable which we can use it to structure our bottom navigation and if you press here control q you can see that there are a bunch of parameters which we can pass you can see here we can try and change the background color the content color the elevation and also passing here the content of our composables which we have created so for now we are going just to leave this as is we're going to use them inside this bottom navigation here and we're going to call these items and we want to use the for each each statement here and now we are getting here the screens so we can reference this to be screens so if you want to pass in a customized navigation item you could try and create your own but for now we are going just to use a built-in navigation items which just press a decent job so we can use this navigation item and as you can see here now we have a bunch of parameters which we are required to pass and now here we can also pass in here the icon. 
if you press ctrl q you can see there are a bunch of parameters which we can pass in here the selected so if this is going to be the selected tab or the selected navigation item and inside here the on click now we can specify where to navigate and how to save the state and other things and here pass in the icon and also the modifier to modify this and also passing here the label and other parameters which we are going to see later in this video now for now here we have to check this if has been selected or not and for this case we can try and use the current destination in order to get the current item so now we can use this current destination and then we can use the route and we can compare this to the screens route which has been passed from these items here and we can we can check if this route is going to be similar and we have just not added here a variable so we cannot access the route in order to do that now we can access here the route and also we have to add here a safe call and now as you have seen here now it's going to return true if this is going to be the selected item now another thing which we have to handle here if this is going to be clicked how are we going to show our items now we want to use the navigation controller and navigate to this screen if has been selected so we can use this navigation controller and navigate to this particular screen and now we can use the screens and right now here we are going to navigate to this screen inside here now we can pass in here the icon now as you can see here we are passing here the painter and not the image vector so if you are using image vector you can try just to change this to image vector and we are using a resource id so we can access this by using the painter resource and pass in here the screens and we can pass in here to null and now inside here the label we can try and launch and use the bottom navigation with this so i'm going to show you this approach we are missing something so later in this video i'm going to show you how you can manage the state and how you can manage the the bottom navigation and for now here now we can try and create the the composables which is going to hold up the navigation host So we're going to pass in here the navigation host controller and now we can try to navigate to other screens. So now before we start to create here our navigation host, we have to create our navigation screens. And in order to do that, we can come here and create here another coding class. We're going to call this component. And now inside here, now we can try and create our components and we are going to create here another composable and we are going to call this home. And now inside here now we can try and, and use a box so now as you can see here we have created a home tab and we can try to duplicate here and create another composable so you can have a complex screen just for demonstration purpose we're just passing here a text and for example here we can call this notification here so now after creating all of these screens we can try and use them inside the navigation and the bottom navigation host so now let's create here the navigation host and we are going to select this navigation host here now we can try and pass in here the navigation controller and if you don't know about navigations you can just check this video here i'm going to link it in the card so that you can learn about this navigation in more detail so we are going to create here the start destination Now inside here now we can create our navigation graph and we can pass in here the composables and now we can pass in here the route. Now we're going to duplicate this three times and here we can just change the route here from home to notification.
Now, for example, here you could have inside this home, for example, you have another button which is going to navigate you to other screens. So you can pass in here the navigation host controller or you could just try and create the the callback which is going to be executed inside here. So for now here we are good to go and try to use this inside the main activity. So we can come here to main activity and right now we can create here our states. So for example, here we are going to create the list of those items now we can create here in a enough controller so now we can use this nav controller inside the main activity and we are going to create here a scaffold and inside this scaffold we are going to create here a bottom a bottom bar and inside this bottom bar we are going to call our bottom navigation so these are basically all of our screens and we have defined these three screens and now inside here now we can create and call those navigation hosts so now so inside here we can call the bottom the bottom nav host which we have created and we can pass inside here the navigation controller and now we are good to go and try and launch our application and see how it's going to respond now as you can see here our app is launched and we can try and navigate here to other screens and if we click this multiple times it's just going to be difficult to quit this application when you press the back stack now as you can see we are just scrolling through this and there are multiple items which have been added and if you see here now again if we press this for example home tab multiple times now if we click this navigating back we are not going to quit the application until we finish this now this we're going to fix this right now here now if we jump inside this navigation here we can scroll down here and come to this bottom navigation so now in order to fix those problems we have to navigate here to this on click method here where we have called this nav controller dot navigate now we can pass in here the navigation option builder so that we can customize and pass in here optional parameters so the first thing which when we are clicking that the same tab we are going to launch multiple items so in order to fix that problem we are going to call the launch single item launch single top and we are going to make this to true so this one is going just to remove the for example here we are going to be at most one copy of the given destination on the top of the back stack so it's going to remove other stacks if we are going to add them now as you have seen there we have been creating multiple items of the same item inside the back stack entry so we are going to remove them now inside here we can try and create now and we can remove those stacks of other composables when we are navigating to another composable and then here we are going to call a pop-up too now inside here we have to pass in the the we have to pass in here the route and in order to pass that route we are going to use the navigation controller which we have passed here the navigation the navigation controller and what we want to access the graph and inside this graph we want to find the starting destination so we are going to find the start destination so where we have started and pass in the id and this is really crucial if you have nested navigations so that you can find the actual actual starting destination so this one is going to find the actual start destination of the graph and you can see here it's going to handle cases where the graphing starting destination is itself a navigation graph so as you can see here now we have provided this pop up to you so it's going to remove for our case here our starting destination is home and we want to save the state so for example here our home state or other composable states we want to save their state so that we can restore data when a user navigate back to this composable so we are going to make here the save state and turn in this to true so now we are saving here the state and we want to restore the state when a user has clicked at the this composable so we are going to make this also true so if we have any state that we we have 
in this composable is going to be restored and if you don't save this state inside this pop-up to this restore state is not going to have any effect so you have to save this state in order to restore the state so for now let's try and run our application and see the output again so the app is launched and nothing has changed visually now let's try here and place and navigate to this multiple times and now if we are here at message let's try to navigate back as you can see here we are jumping straight to home and if we click this we are going to just quit the application and now let's press here home multiple time and let's try to click this back button as you can see here we are navigating of the application instantly and this is because we have passed those parameters now let's try here and customize our application and pass in here different colors and when we want to show a label when only this has been selected so we hide others for example here we hide all of these labels when they are not selected so so in order to achieve that functionality it's just really easy so inside this bottom navigation item here if you press ctrl q you can see here there are parameters which we can pass in always show label so now let's just navigate here and pass in that function always always show label and pass this to false now as you have seen here we can try also to customize our colors so let's pass in here the selected color the selected content color and we can pass in here for example and we can pass in here for example secondary color so that when it has been selected we pass in the secondary color and if you are using this material theme you don't have to specify the unselected color so it's going to use that on secondary color inside the selected content color in order to define the unselected color so let's try and run our application and see again so now as you can see here our application is launched and only this one is going to be showing the label the home when it has been selected and as you can see here this one is much more brighter than other these which have not been selected so let's just click here and we can navigate and we can change also here our content so guys this was it so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to provide that like button and subscribe for more video thank you see you in the next video